Today I'm going to show you how to connect a PS4 controller or an Xbox One S controller to your iPhone, iPad, or Apple TV. What time is it? Game time! If you haven't yet, take a moment and subscribe to our channel to get the latest in how-to videos. There are plenty of great third-party wireless controllers for the iPhone and iPad and Apple TV, but if you're like me, you probably own a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One S, and those have perfectly good controllers too. And that's why it's so fantastic that with the release of iOS 13, iPad OS 13, and TV OS 13, that Apple devices now support DualShock 4 wireless controllers and Xbox One S wireless controllers. Hey, but let's jump in and connect these controllers. Let's start with PS4 controllers. First thing you wanna do is make sure that the controller is all charged up. Next, on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, make sure Bluetooth is on. So go to Settings, then Bluetooth. On an Apple TV, go to Settings, Remotes and Devices, Bluetooth. Now on your controller, hold the PlayStation button and Share button until the controller blinks. You'll see a DualShock 4 wireless controller pop up in the Bluetooth list. Simply tap on it to connect. Once you're connected, the controller will turn pink. If your controller doesn't appear, make sure that you're out of range of your PlayStation. You don't want your PS4 to know that its controller is trying to make friends with an iPhone. Also, iPad OS 13, iOS 13, and TV OS 13 all support multiple wireless controllers for multiplayer games. But good luck finding any multiplayer games that take advantage of this. At least right now. Maybe later. Maybe. Now let's pair the Xbox One controller. And this is where things get a little bit, well, to quote Gollum, tricksy. You see, not all Xbox One controllers will work. In fact, you can only use model number 1708, AKA the controller that came with your Xbox One S. If you're not sure if you have that, take the batteries out and look at the model number. Go ahead, I'll wait. Yeah, see, 1708, works great. Or if you're ordering the new Elite Series 2 controller, that should also work. But anything else, well, not gonna work. Have Bluetooth settings open on your Apple device, turn the controller on, and press the connect button on top. You'll see the Xbox logo blink fast. Now check on your device and tap Xbox wireless controller from the Bluetooth list to pair and connect. PS4 controllers and Xbox One S controllers will work with many games. At this point, Apple has not mentioned if it will offer support for Nintendo Switch's Joy-Cons or Pro Controller. Also, there's no word if PS4 and Xbox One controller support will be added to the Mac. But to quote James Brown, please, 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 Apple, add that. All right, so that's our video today. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, and if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut.